Saratsk city, Russia, school number 24. A video of a teacher insulting a student and threatening to kill him at the school was posted in one of the local blogs. You are bastard. Just try it and I will strangle you. The teacher did not limit herself to insults. According to the author of the video, she beat the student with her hands and feet. The Bratsk mayor's office reacted to the situation. Parents were assured that an official investigation has begun. However, for Russia, it seems to be a normal situation. Not so long ago, the class teacher of a Russian school called an eighth grader a traitor for being late to a competition on the Russian Defenders Day. <laughs> For me, you are just a zero. Nobody. You will leave tomorrow and won't even say hello to you. Just nobody. You can go to another school. The teacher later resigned from the school and all thanks to the publicity on social media. However, most likely those situations won't be known to the public anymore since Russian school children have been banned from using their smartphones in schools. It is forbidden to use mobile phones in lessons, except in case of emergency. We discussed this issue with you. Parents and teachers asked to support this norm. This decision will improve the quality of education for our children. Vyacheslav Vovodin, speaker of the Russian State Duma in Telegram. Putin has instructed to adopt a degree banning the publication of posts defaming the dignity of teachers, similar to the law on discrediting the army. The Federation wants to ban not only defending one's rights, but also critical thinking. A professor of the Department of Humanities at the Financial University under the government of Russia has proposed to ban teaching the basics of critical thinking and fact-checking in universities. In my opinion, the education system is in a period of collapse, because everything somehow starts to obey the same goal which you all know. The detrimental influence of the West. I can't say that it's a successful process, not yet, but it's done systematically and unfortunately the trend is quite obvious. According to Russian authorities, students also don't need curricula that does not meet so-called traditional values. We are talking about gender, feminist, postmodern and pacifist topics and courses. Even the word philosophy is now under suspicion. We propose to develop a course on Russian philosophy to replace the current course in philosophy in general, which is taught randomly, depending on who is teaching it, and as a rule has no world view significance. Leonid Polakov, member of the Presidential Council for Human Rights from a publication in the Telegram channel The Moscow Times. Instead of developing critical thinking, school children and students are being asked to study a subject that is really valuable to the Kremlin. Over a billion rubles will be spent by schools and colleges in 52 Russian regions to purchase drones as a teaching aid. The Kremlin has decided to prepare Russian school children for the participation in the war against Ukraine as a part of the new school course Fundaments of Security and Defense of the Homeland. Students must undergo tactical, fire, engineering, medical and technical training, as well as get taught the general general military regulations reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.